Now, what do you need, Meg? Oh, you just going to sit on the stool and... Mm. No, I'll stand. So. You're going to stand, okay. Yes. And you don't need this. Except to a wonderful memory. She's got a story for all you. I, are we sitting comfortably? No, I'm awake. Okay, girls and boys. If you're sitting comfortably, Meg will begin. Meg Phil. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, way up in the deep north of the land of Finnmark, a man managed to catch a beer. It was winter time, the beer was white, but he caught it in the deep dark forest way up there. And strange to say, this bear wasn't fierce at all. It was very tame, it was big. But it walked along beside him like a dog and the man thought, if I take this to the king, he'll pay a good price for it. So he set out to walk to the king's castle to give him the bear. Now, I should tell you that it was Christmas Eve and up there, they'd already had snow, quite a bit of snow. But as the morning went on, the snow began to fall really heavily. The bear plodded on behind the man and they walked, but it looked pretty certain they wouldn't get very far that day. <clears throat> it got dark, there was more snow in the clouds, and so the man was relieved to see a light in a cabin window up amongst the trees. And he said to the bear, come on, we've got a place for the night, we'll be safe here. So the bear ambled on behind him and the man went and um, knocked on the door and eventually it creaked open and a man with a big nose poked it round and said, yes, what do you want? Oh, uh, if you could just give us shelter for the night. Oh no, he shut the door. And the man knocked again. I mean, there's nowhere else to go. The door opened again. And look, the bear is really tame. It won't give you any trouble. It's just that we need... And the man said, oh, look, I'm sorry. My name's Halvor, but you don't want to come and stay here with us. It's Christmas Eve. We have terrible things happen on Christmas Eve. And the man with the bear said, oh, it can't be that terrible. I've got a bear with me. You know, if you could just let us in by the fire and warm ourselves. Come in, said Halvor, I'll tell you. And so when he was sitting by the fire with the bear at his feet, the man said, Every Christmas Eve, for as long as I can remember, once my family sets out all the food ready for Christmas Day, we get invaded by trolls. And it's so terrifying, we always have to run out to the shed. We never stay. These trolls just wreck the place and make a mess of everything. And the man, who'd walked quite some way, said, We're not afraid of any trolls, are we, Bear? And Bear shook his head. So... That was what happened. There was the meal all laid out. The family met the bear and the man and then said they would take their warm things out and go to the shed. The man didn't have to wait very long by the fire. There was a scritching and a scratching at the door and strange noises. And then suddenly, down the chimney, in the windows, in the door, rushed all these evil little trolls with long noses and big pointed ears and rubbing their hands together. Food! Food! They ran at the table, jumped on it. They stamped through the meat pies. They threw currant buns across the room. The turkey, well, it was long gone. But in the middle of all of that, one little troll seemed to be distracted. It kind of had sausage on the table and it came over to the fire and the man was in this big high back chair sitting very quietly and the little troll came up to the bear and went forward and said Pussy! Pussy want a sausage! <laughs> the bear opened its eyes. Uh, troll tried again. Come on, pussy, pussy, what a sausage. And it waved it under his nose and made the mistake of whipping it back very quickly when the bear wanted to have a bite. Ha, 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 started laughing and teasing the way some small children do. And the next thing, when it came close with the sausage, the bear roared up 
and stood on its hind legs, and everything, the chaos in the place, froze. It was silent. And all of these trolls turned and looked and saw the size of the bear. And then suddenly, they ran, disappeared, out of the house as fast as you can imagine, out the windows, out the doors. And the man patted the bear on the back and said, well done, good bear. And the bear got the sausage. <laughs> a family came in from the shed. They couldn't believe it. Oh, what a mess. But they all cleared it up together, and luckily the wife had a little secret store laid by. So the next morning they had a great Christmas breakfast together. And the man thanked him for the hospitality, and the bear shook its shaggy coat and got ready to go out into the cold, and off they went. And I think he probably got as far as the castle, and I don't know how much reward he got. But, you know, they do say that that next Christmas Eve, Halver was out in the edge of the forest sawing wood and he could, heard a funny laugh and he thought that's a troll laugh and then this voice called out oh Halvor and Halvor said yes have you still got that big white pussycat <laughs> and Halvor said yes I have and you know what she's had six kittens and they're all as big as she is. <laughs> oh, said the wee troll. Well, we won't be coming to your place again for Christmas. And they never did. Big <laughs> <laughs> Bill, now you know what to do if you're bothered by trolls at Christmas. Yeah.